Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, couldn't really figure out what to film over the last couple days. Um, so I've decided I'm going to take the camera out today. I already loaded up my car, took my dog out and everything. Uh, I'm going to go try do some pond hopping, catch some bass. Um, I got my car keys on me. Yep. I currently have my car loaded down like a tuna fish can. Um, this is gonna be loud real quick. I gotta open and shut the door. Hang on. See you later, baby. Okay. So yeah, I got my car loaded down like a freaking tuna can uh, with all my bass stuff because it's late fall. I'm hoping to get a couple bass. It's nice out with the sun shining on the water. I gave it some time before I head out, so bring the cooler for some snacks and stuff on the road. Oh, I gotta throw the chargers in there. I might as well throw my keys right there too. So yeah, let me just uh, open this up for everybody real quick. I know that sun's bright. I mean, that sun is definitely bright. This is my Lucky Bass Pro hat. Oh, yeah, I got that big tackle box, bunch of solid plastics. That bag is for when I'm bank fishing away from the car. Four rods, my bait. Oh, that's what I need. I need the worms. Uh, four rods or five rods? Five rods. And uh, my bait tackle box. I'm going to run back inside, though, because I forgot to grab my bucket of worms. I don't know if you can hear all that commotion in the background, Ugh. but they're doing a lot of construction in my neighborhood, and it's loud as hell. Um, so yeah, but I figure I'd take advantage of this beautiful fine day and go try to catch a couple bass while I still can before it gets too cold. Oh, I can't catch any ever, um, which at that point in time. Uh, I think this year I'm going to try my hand at ice fishing. Because I do have a ice fishing rod that I bought for shits and giggles a couple couple years back. Um, never actually used it for ice fishing. But um, used it out on the uh, Stony Brook River, trout fishing a couple times. And stuff like that. So might as well take it for the things that it's meant for. But, uh, yeah, so that's in the plan for this winter. Um, try my hand at ice fishing for once. Let's see how it goes. But for right now, we're going to do a little pond hopping. i got to run to the gas station first, grab some fuel, some dinosaur juice in my car. And then uh, we're going to hit the road. Like, a, like you guys know the drill. Um, can't film too much while I'm on the road because the microphone picks up all the car noise. I gotta fold the other mirror out. Base model life. So, yeah, I guess I'll pick this back up when we get to the first pond. Um, I gotta let this charge a little bit anyway because I didn't charge it for the last, all weekend. Uh, I'm only down to like 50% or some shit like that. So, yeah. Uh, now you can see me a little bit better. Yeah, we gotta pack down. Ah, oh, that damn garlic, garlic spray is uh, smelling up the car. That's not good. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get some dinosaur juice in the car and uh, head to the first pond. Hopefully, we get some bass today or some kind of fish in general. We'll find out though. I'll check back. I'll check back with you guys when I get there. You know, New Jersey's got this uh, effective today. Twenty-three cent gas hike it freaking sucks man i mean thankfully i got a little car now uh compared to the yukon i used to drive uh it just it sucks <laughs> i'm curious to see how much this is going to cost uh usually from e it takes my car 20 bucks to fill uh i was just at a quarter of a tank so we'll see how much it costs so probably add a quarter of an a tank probably add a quarter of a tank it's going to cost twenty dollars uh but we'll find out she's just about full now so i guess we'll see yep 
2059 for nine gallons of gas. What a wonderful world that we're living in now. All right, so I just got to the pond. Uh, just had a little lunch in the car. Got not lunch, but dinner because my wife ain't gonna be home till late tonight because she's got babysit after work. So uh, I'm on my own. Uh, just got to the, you know, like I said, just got to the pond. It's eight. Uh, bass are starting to show up. They're, uh, you can see them swimming around in this little pond. Uh, so it should be all right. Hopefully, um, we'll see. I got bait with me like I always do anyway, just in case uh, lures ain't working. Always turn to the bait. I'm getting real tired of stray cats all over my car. Oh Lord. So yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna start off today uh, by throwing. Let's turn this camera. My uh, my favorite rig I got here is this old Bass Pro Shops casting reel on this old Berkeley rod. Oh, let's pull it out. Uh, and we're gonna throw this little six ounce Bass Pro Shops spoon and uh, see if we can't get anything in here. Um, like I said, I might as well be a walking billboard for Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> If you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell by now, Bass Pro Shops is my favorite store. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna start off with this rig, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, I've got plenty of options in my car to figure out what uh, what's gonna work on these fish. So we'll see. Well, I haven't been able to get a bass yet, so I switched over to my bait rig, which is this old spin cast reel on this old Fluger rod. Um, Went back to my childhood, went back to my favorite type of fishing since the bass weren't biting in this pond. And I caught myself. Uh, hang on, I gotta get him so he don't spike me. Nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. I'm gonna unhook him and throw him back. Uh, I might call it quits for this place. Like I said, fishing's been super slow. There's a lot of. Ugh. There's a lot of movement, um, but nobody's really hungry, at least not for what I have, which is surprising because I have a lot. Let's put him back in the water here. Off he goes. So I think I'm going to call it quits for this place, uh, head into town a little more, a little farther and try to find somewhere else to fish. Who knows? See what happens today hoping to get at least one bass before I have to go back but uh, we'll find out got everything packed up just got to throw my bait rig back in and then we'll be good to go all right so I just pulled up to a neighborhood that's got a bunch of lakes in it um, I'm not gonna bring the camera with me though because there's a lot of people outside and they were always already staring at me funny and I'm probably gonna get kicked out of here pretty quickly so I'm pretty much just gonna bring two rods with me uh, two or three rods with me uh, and just fish for a couple minutes and then get the hell out of here before I get yelled at and the cops called on me. Um, I'm going to bring my casting rod with a uh, jig and a crawfish soft plastic. That's my go-to bass bait. And then I'll probably bring my drop shot rig. Uh, if not... Actually, I'll probably just bring the casting rig, fish for a couple of minutes, because they don't bite on that, then they're not going to bite on anything, and that's what I've come down to. So I'm going to fish here for a couple minutes, and then throw the rod back in the car and get the hell out of here before I get in trouble. Um, when I get back to the car, I'll check in with you guys and let you know if I caught anything. Well, no fish there either. Um, I don't know. <laughs> haven't had any luck with bass yet today uh, I decided to throw on a spinner bait and try to fish the rest of the day with spinner baits because um, I know slow roll and sometimes if you jig them they work really good in the fall so that's what I switched over to I got a uh, spinner bait wacky rig and a drop shot I'm probably gonna change the wacky rig and the drop shot to uh, slow a crankbait a shallow diving crankbait and 
I haven't quite decided what to change the other one to yet. Uh, maybe maybe a slow swim bait. Who knows? I'm gonna. I just threw my stuff back in the car. I'm gonna uh, drive around a little more, see if I can't find another pond, hop to, and hopefully get a bass before I go home. Um, we'll see what happens though. So I'll check back with you guys when I get to the next pond. All right, I just arrived in a lake in a community that me and my buddy fish all the time. Uh, I know there's fish in this pond because me and him used to have little bass tournaments in this pond uh, and caught bass like crazy in here. And I know there's a couple big ones. Um, so I'm going to throw some tackle on my uh, backpack. Oh. And I'm going to bring you guys with me because I'm praying to God that I'm going to be catching a fish out of here. Um, so I'm going to throw some tackle in my backpack. Uh, the car's parked right next to the pond, but I don't want to have to keep running back and forth. So we'll see how we do here. Hopefully we get some fish. All right, so I got all my stuff in my bag. Uh, I'm going to start by tossing around the spinner bait uh, because the water's kind of murky, but I see a fish already swimming right out there. You, can't, you probably can't see that, but uh, yeah. I have a good feeling about this one, so we're going to do it up. Well, I haven't gotten any bites yet, um, but I just happened to snag on that f <laughs> on that fountain, and the freaking skirt came off my spinner, uh, so I'm going to take that as a sign to switch it up to a jig, because I know that works in here, because I caught all the fish I've ever caught out of here were on a jig, uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to switch it up real quick, and then get back to fishing. Maybe you like to see me tie the knot. <laughs> this is the jig I'll be using. It's a red and black skirt with a blue crawl from Berkeley. Uh, this is my go-to, man. It's like I said before. Um, hopefully it'll prove good in this pond like it always done before. and uh, It doesn't make a liar out of me, but we'll see, I guess. Right, that's tied on. Put the skizzers back. That's not even half the stuff I have with me today. So that gives you a good feel that uh, I'm out for a bass today. Let's get this shut up. Always got a rep mystery tackle box. I canceled my uh, prescription subscription only because it's a lot of money. Um, but hopefully soon I'll be renewing that s subscription. So you guys are going to go back into my pack until I catch a fish. Well guys, just like I said, I thought they'd be here. First bass of the day. Let me get this uh, jig out of his mouth. It's actually an extremely... Hang on, i got to put the camera down here. Good fish for this time of year. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Feels good to be back on the bass. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to take a picture of him real quick. And then I'm going to let him go, but I'm going to get it on camera. So let me put the camera down, take my phone out. All right, let's get him in the water. There he goes. That felt good. Hopefully to hook up on a little more now. I'll come back. Well, there's an interesting story. As I was fishing the last bank on this pond, a school bus driver started yelling at me and saying no fishing here. So I get ready to pack up my stuff and he comes out of the bus. He goes, hey, I'm getting with you. Comes over, introduces himself. Um, Tells me, you know, he doesn't mind the homeowners might try to kick me out, but he works for the property management association, so he doesn't mind. He said, you can fish here as long as you pick up pick up some trash and, uh, you know, keep the place clean. I was like, that's no problem. Every time I come here, if there's trash around, I try to pick it up anyway. I'm big into keeping water clean, and I like conservation, so 
I believe the more you keep it clean, the more fish come to you because God will bless you from above and, you know, keep you fishing. Um, so we shook hands. He told me there's another bigger pond around the corner with bigger fish in it. Uh, he said, go over there and try that pond out too before I leave. So that's where I'm heading right now. I'm going to go over there and check it out. Uh, now that I know that the uh, guy from the property management company gave, practically gave me permission to fish here, then I'm not worried. Um, me, like I said, me and my buddy have fished here plenty of times and never had an issue. That was the first time anybody's ever spoken to us here. Um, but he was a nice guy, and I got a little scared at first. I thought he was going to call the cops because he was kind of yelling at me like a dick. But after he introduced himself, he's an actually really nice guy, and I'm kind of happy I met him because now he showed me this other pond to go check out and fish. So I'm going to head over there, hopefully catch some fish. All right, I think this guy was pulling my leg. Uh, I think he really didn't want me to keep fishing here. Hang on, this camera's all messed up from being in my bag. Um, yeah, I think he didn't really want me fishing here because I just drove around this whole neighborhood and couldn't find another lake. The only other pond that was in here was across the street in the next uh, development, which I'm probably heading to next. Uh, maybe not. It's getting kind of late. I think I might head home. Oh, well, at least I caught one bass. Uh, I can't complain about that. Um... So yeah, I think I might come back at it tomorrow, who knows. Um, I'm just going to drive through the other development really quick. Uh, if there's not many people out, I'll probably make another stop. Um, but if there is, I won't, because <laughs> I'm not messing around with these people today. They're, they're, you know, they're 55 and older communities, so some of them can be real pain in the ass, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to head across the street. Uh, check out the other development and go from there All right, there's too many people out there walking around. Uh, I'm just not gonna chance it today uh, I don't feel like getting yelled at um, So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the house edit this and upload it uh, Probably just watch a movie for the rest of the night Sounds like a plan to me um, So thanks guys for watching uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below if you need to. Uh, what else? Look me up on Twitter, on Instagram, Crohn's Disease 93. And then Facebook, the same name as my YouTube. Uh, Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.